What's up, YouTube? I did a series with the Indian guy a couple videos ago called oh, Ask an Indian. You wanna let me do the intro or? Introducing cousin no, no. Vicky. <laughs> Shut Doug. Up. Let's get this started, dude. I just had to give a brand to the two though. We haven't even brand to the We haven't even introduced the video yet. Beat town. <laughs> We're doing another video today where I'm going to be talking to uh, a Brampton man who is a born and raised in Brampton. He's born also my cousin. Raised. His cousin Vicky. That's it's my three privileges. Born and raised. Three. And the cousin. Oh, and the cousin. Just me. My older brother. Like Toronto to Brampton, my older brother to cousin Vicky. That made a lot of sense. All day, baby. All right, what we did was we went to Snapchat. Hey. And I was like, hey guys, <laughs> send me your questions. What makes Brampton so special? You know why Brampton is special? Be my beds and Bentley. Be my Benz and Bentley. Be my Benz and Bentley. Great answer. How do you, Cousin Vicky, approach a fine thing? Like, hey, mommy, walk one. That's her chance to reply to me, you know? She'll be like, hey, poppy, what's good? I'm gonna be like, yo, let me get your number. You're gonna have to call at me first, because that's Brampton man's, you feel me? So you gotta ask for her number yeah. and wait for her to text you. Random yeah. girl that you went up to in the streets, she has to text you first or else it's not happening. It's not happening. There's another key to success here, alright? Oh, I don't know, I was sitting with uh, DJ Khaled. Oh, oh, boy. Oh, she now has an obligation to text you back. She's yeah. obligated to text you back. Obligated to text you back. She can say, hey, what's up? If not, then it's not even worth it, man. You don't need to chase. Alright, same question, 53-year-old Andy. Well, Andy, how you doing? Do you have a daughter? <laughs> and it's that 18-year-old, then what? <laughs> That's a blessing. That's double trouble right there. Double trouble. <laughs> what's the best place to eat in Brampton? There's like 3,000. Indian restaurants. Raul is Brito Boys. It should be BBB. Brampton Brito Boys. You already Brampton, man. Holy. Wow. What is Cousin Vicky's thoughts about Donald Trump? I don't like the guy. Let's say Donald Trump showed up right in front of your face. What would you yeah. say? I'll be like, well, the boys that I got plenty of homies ready to ride out for that fool. Ride out in a positive way or like, like give him a tour? Hey, Donald races. Trump, this is Brito Boys. Get a bowl. This is an abundance of bowls and mothers and daughters. <laughs> All right, perfect, man. What does the Brampton Bunda say about Surrey BC Bunda? Because there's a lot of like, there's you know, there's a lot of like tension. You know, people are like, oh, Brampton, and then Surrey people are like, no, Surrey. Surrey, they're both Brampton. amazing. I think Surrey is Brampton is Surrey's Brampton, or Surrey is Brampton's Brampton. Why the shit does cousin Vicky sound like he has three dicks down his throat? Got it. Now, what does that mouth do? Mouth spits lyrics. Spits oh, lyrics. please spit something for us. Well, I'm in Justice House in the downtown. We know where they go down because I'm from B Town and I fucking like to slow down when I see them chicks. I don't give a fuck you or my. I was in gonna. Oh, I, I, back to the video. Back to the video. <laughs> Why do people from Brampton look so mean? I don't know. Do we? Do you think you look mean? Not at all. We do not look mean. I, Let them know. We don't look mean. Let them get tell. Do we look mean? No. Why are there so many brown fuck boys in Brampton? What's a fuck boy? Um, essentially, just like a waste man, pretty much. Nah, Brampton waste. Oh, there's no waste man in Brampton. I don't know. Not one single waste. I don't look at. We do our thing. If you're a hustler and you're doing your own thing, you have a nice job. You live in. You live in life. You don't have a. You don't have a problem with any guy in Brampton. Oh really? Then you heard it. Everybody that knows Cousin Vicky, you know he's been the most peaceful when it comes to conflicts <laughs> and other Brampton people that may run in the wrong way. He just treats you nicely. He sends you love. Nice. All, all love outs to Brampton. That's it. Wow, you've grown up so much. Yeah. Tell Vicky I always see him on the 501 bus and I would like to be his friend and to stop taking up the handicaps. You take up the handicap seats? <laughs> Is this true? Is this real? Nah, no, man, I don't know what she's talking about. What if somebody came on that no, one was actually that's... handicapped? What are we talking about, Brampton? Where did this come from? Yeah, no, that's. Yeah. That's exactly what we're talking about. Never took up those seats, man. I don't know what she's talking about. Alright. Why are you such a. Okay. You know what? That's it for me. What is a Brampton man's biggest fear? Brampton man's biggest fear is God himself. You're not scared of anything else? No. Well, Spiders. Also... Not you walking through the late nights, you see a group of guys, and you're like, oh man, this is. I don't know, this could end pretty badly. Well, Brampton's really nice to its residents. There's never been any uh, gang problems in Brampton or... No. Never? never? Not a single gang in Brampton? Brampton? There's no gangs. Everyone's peaceful, man. 
What's the most popular slang or phrase in Brampton? What's up, dad? Did just got an even deck him, bro? Who's just got him? I don't know, did you deck him? I don't like Ted just got him. Well, pick one of them. Did any of them deck anybody? Recently? No. Not at all. Because they're all peaceful, right, in Brampton? Peace. Cousin Vicky, how many white people live on your street? Two. Are you friends with them? Do you talk to them? Yeah, of course, neighbors. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, buddy, how you doing? Be like, what up? You want to cut my grass for me? <laughs> you go to your white neighbor and you say, hey, man, come here and cut my grass. Cut my grass. Why did they do it? Because I asked them to cut my grass. Bro. You asked them? It sounds like you kind of told them tonight. To be honest, I got a patty cure like the other day. A what? A patty cure. A patty cure? Yeah. Patty cure? Yeah. You want to like, do your feet? Some problems here. What's the weirdest thing you did as a kid? Oh, that's foul. <laughs> that is foul. What, what, what? They did a gesture there. And... The people want to know. You can't just be like, that's foul. Now I want to hear about that's it. That's pretty foul. Man. What was foul? What's foul? <laughs> <laughs> what, did, what is going on? I want to know. Sitting in class, chilling. Girl walks up to me like, hey, I want to show you my jacket in the closet. And I'm like, Okay, I'm just all, you know, fat, chubby, and happy, yeah, you know, yeah. adorable. So she looked at me like that, she's like, come to the closet, grade one. I'm like, all right, let's see the jacket. Bro, she grabbed me, and she kissed me, bro. Like, I was weirded out, man. That's not a weird story. <laughs> oh, man, I look at me, I, I pulled chicks in grade one. That's not weird. Oh, man. That's you showing up. For me at that time, it was weird. No, oh, okay, whoa. Let's not be too weird here. I don't know if I can put that in, Vicky. People might be grossed out by it. Yeah. Why is it that every Brampton dude I meet happens to be a truck driver? I'm not a truck driver. What do you do? Let, let them know what you do. You stay on the streets of Brampton. Like, street. like a homeless guy? Oh. Somebody asks you uh, if your beard is real. Of course it's real. They paint it on, man. Uh, hey, listen guys. Hopefully you were somewhat educated about Brampton. Hopefully some of your questions were answered. By an official Brampton man. So what did you learn about Brampton today, bro? Ah uh, man, a lot of bees. A lot of, a lot of bee words. Any closing words once again? Brampton is home. Brampton is home. Oh, bit. All the way. Tell me, tell me your wildest Brampton story. So this, many wildest the, stories. The can't cream. Just with one thing. Oh, let me guess. Uh, in the second grade, some girl was like, "Hey, come to the jungle gym," and you went and she, and she touched your butt, and you were like, "Whoa, this is weird. I'm weirded out." <laughs> That's pretty weird, bro. <laughs>